If I had a dollar for every time someone tweeted at me or commented that running on a treadmill is harder than running outside on a given pace, then I'd have a lot of money by now. Hey there, so I just got off the treadmill, did an up-tempo workout, uh, nice low heart rate up here at 7,000 feet, Flagstaff, Arizona, of course, uh, still cl clearing the roads outside, so this workout would have been really hard to do out on the snow and ice, and you'd have to bundle up in a jacket and gloves and hat, and I don't always have access to an indoor track, but I just want to do this as a quick follow-up video to my last video about uh, tread why running on treadmill may be better for your training and why it's easier theoretically, right? Uh, there's a big mental component to treadmill running, and I'm going to break down some little science and math here at the end of why uh, treadmill should be easier, but uh, at a given pace. But the main thing is mental, right? A lot of people, you mentally struggle. It's really boring. You're staring at these numbers on a screen. You can't control your pace. You're fiddling around with all the buttons trying to press, you know, you, you'd feel like this lack of control. You feel like you're in this hamster wheel. It's very monotonous. So mentally, mentally it could be uh, harder and there's this perception it also kind of changes your form a little bit We'll get into the physics and the numbers uh, in a bit But there's this mental thing. Well, you have to take the mental side the mental component out of the equation, right? Uh, which is hard to do because it does manifest itself in your physical performance. It's all a matter of perception, but that's qualitative We want to talk about quantitative, right? Math and physics don't care about your feelings, right? It's not about your feelings. It's not how you feel. It's are you running at a lower heart rate and using uh, you know operating with less power to run a given pace or whatever the belt says. Now, there's some science into this, and the first thing is, besides the mental component, right, we're throwing the mental component out. Mental toughness needs to be a constant any surface, any distance, right? Uh, so we throw out the mental component, which is, of course, very, it, it manifests itself into the physical, right? You, you, if you think you're working harder, you could spike your heart rate. If you're stressed out, you could spike your heart rate. But if you take caffeine, you could spike your heart rate. And with heat dissipation is a big thing. And this is scientific. This is quantitative. This is numbers. You start getting hot on a treadmill, and it's because you're not generating that headwind, which I'm going to really talk about is the air resistance or lack thereof. So you're, you're generating a lot of heat, right? If you're in a treadmill environment in a gym, it's not always very cool. If it's hot outside in the summer, maybe it's air conditioned and it's better. So for people in hot, humid conditions, air pollution conditions, treadmill is definitely better in the summer. But in, in winter conditions, like where I am now, uh, you got to deal with a hotter, warmer environment in a gym. Even in a t-shirt and shorts, I wrench up a sweat, still have my earbuds on, uh, look like a doofus there. But anyway, you drench up a sweat because you're not having that headwind. And if you don't have a fan, my treadmill didn't have a fan this afternoon, you don't have a fan in the gym, it's really hard to cool down. You start sweating really bad and you don't have that evaporative cooling and it feels like you're suffocating. So that's that's a scientific factor, right? That's quantitative data. You run in hotter, warmer conditions, human conditions, it's gonna be harder. You're gonna have to work harder. And the less the less advanced you are and the less super well trained you are, the more you suffer in hot conditions. It doesn't matter if you're indoors or outdoors. If it's hot and humid, you're not gonna be running as fast as if it's nice and cool. Uh, so there's that, and that's scientific. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not a total hack. Did take math and physics at Cornell. I love physics, it's my favorite, so one of my favorite subjects. Uh, and we're gonna break down the treadmill. The number one reason why the treadmill should be easier is because of the lack of air resistance, right? Air is a fluid. I'm talking about fluid dynamics, physics, um, cutting through the air, right? If you're outside on a bike or you're in a car, stand up in a convertible, you feel that wind going at you, right? 60 miles an hour, 100K an hour, you really feel it when you're going fast. But even on a bike, cruising along on a bike, uh, it's the whole drafting effect on a bike, right? There's wind, you're cutting through the air and there's resistance. So even if you're only running, uh, 10 minute mile pace, six miles an hour, you have what is effective a six mile an hour, 10, 10 kilometer, or that's 16 kilometer, and what is that? Six miles an hour, 10 kilometer an hour effective headwind, about 10, I, I'm not converting that right. Uh, mental math is not my strong suit. But you're cutting through the air and there's wind resistance and you're working against that. That's part of the work equation output. And it's part of what makes running outside harder because on a treadmill, you don't have that wind resistance. It's like you're drafting behind a wall, right? You're drafting, if you're on a bike and you're drafting behind someone, it's a lot easier. So they're cutting, you don't have to cut through the air. You're just standing in a stationary spot on the treadmill. There's no effective headwind. So that gets amplified that gets amplified the faster you're running. So for me, running at five minute mile pace, 12 miles an hour, uh, you, you feel it more. The guys uh, drafting and breaking two project, drafting behind other runners, you feel that boost. Uh, you don't have to work as hard. You're not cutting through as much of that resistance, that drag coefficient, so to speak. So the lack of air resistance is one on the treadmill. Now, 
The other mathematical, mechanical things with the treadmill is obviously they're not always calibrated accurately. The belt could be slipping, the motor could be doing who knows what. It could be a different shape. The general rule of thumb with equations is to put the treadmill up on an incline of 1% about, maybe 1.5%, maybe 1.5% to kind of equal out that effect, that work output, because the treadmill is easier because of a lack of that wind resistance. Now, the other factor is you also do not have to push off quite as hard. You have to push off pretty hard and you still have to work hard on a treadmill, don't get me wrong, but because of the nature of the belt is moving backwards and you're trying to stay on the belt, stationary place, you're pushing back off the belt to not go flying off the back, right? Uh, well, you don't have to push off quite as hard as if you were running outside and you're pushing off the ground. It's pretty close though, it's pretty close. And yeah, it changes your stride a little bit. Maybe you, that's another mental thing, is you're like, oh, my stride's kind of choppy, feels weird, I'm worried. I'm worried about falling off the belt or stepping on the side and, and, and falling. I've seen it happen, I used to work in a gym in college. So that's an extra mental stress, but then again, that's qualitative. That's subjective, that's a matter of perception. That's not quantitative, that's not numbers, that's not science. Science and math don't care about your feelings, right? Again, uh, so that's my rant on this, just the, you know, the physics of it. And again, yeah, mentally it, it's harder to break down and you wanna just be mentally, have that mental toughness be a constant no matter where you are. Uh, and there's variables like running economy or your efficiency. Maybe you're better at 1% incline relative to, to your flat. And there's all sorts of mathematical conversions on hill climbing on treadmills and, and grade adjusted paces and things like that we could get into. But in general, running on a treadmill, theoretically, as long as it's cool, you got the fan, uh, and it's accurately calibrated is easier than running outside. You just mentally have to disconnect and uh, get in the zone. So that's my rant on that. Uh, just some brief follow-up to my last video, which I'll link to there. Be sure to subscribe for more nerdy science talk, running training videos, as well as action workout videos on this channel via 2Max Productions. Check out our training plan website, sagerunning.com. Any service, any distance. You know me. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.